They're out, they're out. Look at that hypersonic missile to space. Can't see it. Yes, viewers, it works. AGM 183A, A W A R R W, hypersonic missile. Hopefully entering service right now. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Over the last year or so, you guys have been increasingly complaining that we're not doing videos featuring American air launched hypersonic missiles. We've done loads of the Russian hypersonic missiles, the air launched KH-47M2 Kinjal and the ground launched equivalent, the s Kanda missile and Chinese YJ-21 naval hypersonic missile. We've done lots of videos of that, but not the Americans. Why is that? It's because officially America does not have in-service air-launched hypersonic missiles yet. So we thought we would make a video on the most likely candidate to be America's first air-launched hypersonic missile. That is the Lockheed Martin made AGM 183A ARRW. This missile officially started development in 2018 with Lockheed Martin. Officially, it was cancelled in March 2023 after failed test firings, but restarted just two or three months ago at the end of 2023. Lockheed Martin now claim it's ready for small-scale production, so probably this is going to be America's first hypersonic air-launched missile. We've made it in DCS and obviously we're going to try it out. So we had to think of a scenario and I cast my mind back two months, early December. Wargame 189, could Ukrainian F-16s with air-launched SM-6 missiles hit Moscow? SM-6 you'll probably know is a naval surface-to-air missile, a SAM mainly. America toyed with the idea of launching it from aircraft and even did test it, but it didn't go into service in that regime. We tested it against Moscow and it failed miserably. It looked great, but the missile was just not strong, fast or stealthy enough to get through Moscow's defence net. So, let's try it again. First, geography. We don't have the Moscow area of Russia in DCS, so we've shifted everything down a thousand miles. What I've done on this map here is draw the borders here and here. Here is Russia, Belarus here, and Ukraine here. The capitals, Moscow there, and Kiev there to scale. So between Kiev and Moscow is the correct 460 miles. Although we're featuring Ukraine and Russia today, this has nothing to do with the ongoing conflict. So let's start with the Russian defense. We have Moscow down here on a lovely juicy target, the same one as we had before. Loads of backfire sitting ready to be bombed. It's defended today by two linked S-400 SAMs. Several launchers featuring the 48N series of missile and the 9M96 closer range series of missiles so it's pretty well defended by different regimes of missiles as well as that they have frontline SAMs interlaced SA-11 book sites old but pretty nasty missile sites and of course interceptor fighters just like in real life Russia stations its older fighters nearer the borders where they're more vulnerable and its more modern fighters further back so, 50 miles from the border, 1990s SU-27s, six of them in pairs with 1990s radar and IR-based weaponry. 100 miles back, we have more modern SU-35s, four of them in two pairs featuring more modern weapons, R-77-1 and R-74. And then finally, and these are all AI controlled today, 150 miles back, long-range interceptors, MiG-31 Foxhound, four in total, featuring a very nasty weapon, the R-37M and some R-77-1s. That is Russia's defense for today. And our attack today, guys, we're going to have a modern, even slightly futuristic B-21 stealth bomber driven by AI. The missiles themselves are made by Dark, and I think it's a model uh, from CH. Is that right, Dark? Correct. Let's talk a bit about this missile. Obviously, it's super top secret, but at least according to Wiki, it can fly up to Mark 8 
and has an impact velocity of around Mach 5. I've done some testing, obviously. Our impact velocity is about Mach 6, so very close to the Mach 5, according to Wiki, and the top speed seemed to be about Mach 9. Now, here's a problem for me, viewers. I can easily make a five-minute mission of this B-21, launching this missile from its max range of 1,000 miles, but that would make a very boring mission for my pilots, who I serve, so I need to spice things up. So I'm going to nerf the missile a bit for today and say instead of its max range of a thousand miles, it's about 200 miles. So it's got to get all the way to and past the Russian border to be able to fire. And that's where my humans come in today. We'll be flying fourth gen existing USAF and USN fighter bombers. And we'll have one mission, which is to get this bomber through and get him to fire his missiles. And after that, hopefully protect it because it's a very valuable asset. Guys, we can have our usual F-16 with F-16 weapons, a mixture of anti-radiation and air-to-air. -air. You can have an F-18 if you want with the same type of weapons. And surprise, surprise, an F-15E air to air weapons guys you will take off escort the bomber and do what you need to do to protect it as i said the bomber will unrealistically but in this case necessarily launch the missiles within an sa11 book sam network making it vulnerable to the books and also the fighters around it for protection otherwise we have a patriot site here approaching the border awacs on both sides and that's it, guys. There are two questions for the predictions, guys. One, can we get the B-21 to and pass the border into a firing position? Bearing in mind, we know how hard this mission is, and I'll talk about why in a second. Two, if we do get all of the missiles out, and there are 12 of them in case I forgot to say, will the missiles beat the S-400 defense? Bearing in mind the SM-6 last time could not beat it and the reason i say it's difficult viewers is because we're having to operate against hostile fighters within a samnet defeating hostile fighters is pretty easy doing it within a hostile samnet becomes almost impossible as we found last time guys your predictions gotta be a real challenge i think the s400 will shoot down the missile i mean it's just coming in on a ballistic trajectory i predict something will go boom huh Welcome in viewers. Today's pilots fire Simba, Push, Cap, Sabre, Dark, Cannonball in those aircraft. Hello, boys. Hello, sir. Hello. 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 The only change, Howdy, we've, only change we've made is to add decoys uh, to Push's jet there, which we think will help with the SAMs. Uh, one thing, viewers, a uh, bit of a weird one, this, but I thought I would let you know. I've had a letter from Google, who is my boss, basically, an overlord, saying that a company called NC. IS, Naval Criminal Investigation Service, who I think are from the US, have demanded that I hand over all my data. I have two options. One, to comply, or two, to go through a legal process that's very complex and I can't understand it. And even if I could, I couldn't afford it. So obviously I have to hand over the data. Now, I'm not too worried about this, viewers, because I've got nothing to hide, no spurious data. All of my research comes from open source and is declared. So this is probably the last we'll hear from it. But I have read a couple of online horror stories where this NCIS has behaved badly. And therefore, I thought I would protect myself the best way I could, which is to make everything public which is what I'm doing now so you'll probably never hear from it again but just in case here's a thing okay everyone look up there she goes without crashing into each other please follow that sexy sexy b21 let's go no one in F-15 today it can't carry anti-radiation weapons, so uh, not that much use today. F-16, just get your HDS's panel on, please. Watch your rubber shoot. Oh my god, he is slow, isn't he? Uh, body spike. It will speed up, guys, FYI. 340. All right, viewers, there is your lovely B-21 with 12 times AGM-183 hypersonic missiles. Hello, Poosh. Howdy. Um, fuel conservation, guys, we are going 200 miles before we reach the border. Uh, slightly more, actually, so that's a thing as well. Uh, 
and I just realized we were in Ukrainian skins. That is not on purpose, viewers. That's just because I reused the old mission. Uh, like I said, this is not anything to do with the actual conflict. Right, guys, uh, we've got to have a chat about how we're going to do this mission. So the difficulty, if you remember last time, was not fighting the fighters, really. It was fighting them in a Samnet. It makes it almost impossible. Now, you're going to say, viewers, we'll just destroy the Samnet or fight outside of the Samnet, but we can't because the B-21 here is scripted. It's going to go through the Samnet. I've done that on purpose to make it a hard mission. I want to do hard missions. So we can't fight outside the Samnet. Well, in that case, you're going to say, use your harms to destroy the SAMs. Well, unfortunately, you can't because the SA-11 boot system has optical reversion. So we can destroy their radars, and we will destroy their radars, but they can still fire at us through, through a reduced effectiveness, but still dangerous optical reversion method. I guess that's where Poosh comes in with his decoys. So if we unleash your decoys about 50 miles away from them, Poosh... Okay. And then we just, rather than burning ahead, we'll cruise behind the decoys or with the decoys. I just realised how fast he's going, by the way. Then we'll take out, then we'll fire harms to pacify their, their radars. And in real life, obviously, we can destroy these books uh, 10 minutes before. But again, I want to make it as hard as possible. Easy missions, boring. Scripted missions, boring. Hard missions, good. When someone gets with him, can you get his mark, please? Uh, Mach 0.7. Every time I get next to him, he decides to make his right hand turn. Yeah. He does that, doesn't he? He's a very aggressive roller, Simba. Well, it looks to be at a target altitude, finally. No, not so. Uh, he's going another 10,000, Simba. He's just going to do it very aggressively. He's a very aggressive, non considerate leader. A bit like me. That's okay, guys, because I'll be in Guantanamo soon. Isn't that where you'll send your baddies? Your enemies yep. of the state, Guantanamo. Isn't that in Mexico? Or have I got that wrong? That's usual. No, nope. Cuba. 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 I've always wanted to go to Cuba. Excellent architecture. Ryan. I'll see you in Cuba, guys. Nice and warm. Yeah. Oh, that would be nice, man. That be cons. Either that or his engine's on fire. Well, he's done that one of his trademark, uh, trademark aggressive roads in, but viewers, it's actually very hard flying with bombers. Bombers like the B1 are very lifty. They've got very big wing surface. Well, they are just one big wing. Flying with it in an aircraft with a high wing loading like this is very difficult. Not compatible, you could say. All right, he's reached target altitude now. He'll level out, make it a bit easier for us. In typical aggressive style, B21 drivers, worst drivers, apparently. And demonetized. And NCIS is on my ass. Navy doesn't have B-21s. Navy doesn't, that's right. So they only investigate naval issues then, that is the silly question. Ah, uh, it's jurisdictional. Right, it's sped up to his final cruise speed. Feels like about 0.9-ish, guessing. That is a real guess. Okay, looks like we're on Vector. So, viewers, there is the border, and there is Moscow, or Moscow. Right, I'm gonna have a cheeky look on the F-10 map, viewers which I've left on today because obviously we'll want to show the big video and the tactics. Uh, no hostile sighters, fighters sighted yet. The AWACS in view. The S-400 is erect and ready for us. Two S-400s, I should say. Distance to border is 100 nautical miles. Right, I see that no one's managed to catch him up, including me. God damn it. So how do I get rid of this freaking tank without dropping my arms? I can't, can I? Yes, I can. Hey, Ken. SMS, SJ. Do you want me to stay with you guys or go out ahead? Yeah, I better stick with us for now, uh, Poosh. Right, I've dropped my tank, viewers. That should help out a bit. Echelon right one, finally. And out of burn. I learned over the weekend they didn't consider the F-22 to super cruise unless it did it at 1.5 or greater. Roger, interesting. I thought it was anything above one. He's at 0 0.94, guys, 0 0.94 for your interest. If you get rid of your uh, middle bag, you'll get there with a mill power easily. Speak for yourself. Apart from uh, poor old Poosh, <laughs> who's stuck in a frigging Boggington. What's your <laughs> fuel burn rate? Who, oh, me? Yeah, your fuel flow. 4,000. Hmm. Poor old Simba, what are you doing wrong? Nothing. Got a tough jet. Got the bad maintenance screw on your jet. You can go higher if you need to, guys, or you know, do with the sever. I'll get the I'm sexy. I'm gonna climb. 
I'm gonna climb. Roger. Yes, Poosh, you do that. Poosh is up there in his bulb and is not allowed to call that anymore with the NCIS on my back. Uh, Hornet. The excellent, excellent Hornet. That's why they're calling. You. That's why they're calling. Right. <laughs> Dissing their frigging flagship. Anyone picked up any boot radars yet, guys? Nope. Negative. And who's my fellow up here on the left? Uh, fire's up here. Hello, fire. Distance to me, cop. 20 miles. Right, Poosh, you may bust your head now if you want and get those uh, towels out. The rest of us, give it another 20 miles, please, before you engage. Anyone hitting up any boot radars yet, guys? Nope. Negative. Negative. Huh. Looks like they're going to play city buggers. Yay, I'm supersonic. Yeah, Poosh got supersonic. I'm so proud of you in your excellent, 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 excellent hornet. I suggest every man for themselves at this point, if you want to bust a red to get arms out, bust a head. If you want to stick with a package, stick with a package. I'm going to stick with a package because I want to see those hypersonic missiles fire, but you don't have to, guys. Do what you want at this point. Good luck, everyone. Call out any shots, including you, Poosh. Right, viewers, it's showtime. Fuel. Simba's going to try to target the right boot when it comes up. All right, I've got left. Fire's going to go for Oh, you go left for it, yeah. It doesn't really matter. We've got more arms than we possibly need, so release uh, three decoys at each the right one and the middle one. Yeah. Uh, Poosh, yeah. Oh, look at Poosh go! Oh, no, it's something else. Some guy, I believe. Our viewers, there's the border. 40-odd miles ahead. Russia probably knows we're oh. coming now. Snowdrift First on boot. the left. Snowdrift! Cap, please don't hit that B-21. Please don't hit that B-21. Oh, my God, I fired it right behind the B-21. It just missed. Ladies and gentlemen, completely ignoring standard operating procedure. B-21 safe. Cap, Magnum 1 on Snowdrift left or middle or whatever it is. That should be the middle one, Cap. Roger, I've got one on the middle yeah, we one. Can avoid the, we can avoid the far left one altogether. It's out of range of where we're going to be fighting anyway. Roger, four harms out. Oh, decoys are out as well. Well done, Pushy Boo, baby. Our right, viewers can have a cheeky look on the map. Harm out. Decoys out. I'm PGM2. Magnum. That'll do. Roger. Fire that sucker. Cap Winchester seed. Air to air mode. First harm's going in now. Now, like we said, viewers. 29 spike. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, hostile fighters. Nails, going 29. Nails, nails, 29. Checking map. Yeah, all kinds of bad guys. 27, 35, MiG 31s. Simba, PGM 2, Magnum times 2. Like we said, viewers, it'll kill the search radar, but the site will remain operational. What makes Boop such a bitch? Push Magnum Titus. Cap Splash 1 Snowdrift, middle. 13 missiles out. Checking on map. All good things are happening, viewers. Another one's going in there. Might cause some supplementary damage. Anyone got bricks on fighters? Negative. Right. You should pretty much be air to air now. Must have caution, what the hell? Change your cat stores category to 1. Jesus better Christ. maneuverability. Kind of all nail or spike 11, SC 11. Missile, SC 11 on me. 100%. Books out, guys. Books out. Magnum out on SC 11. Fighters, bricks, bricks. Blankers on radar. Time to go air to air, you lot. I'm going to guard the mothership. Book still active. Book hit. South Book is hit. Roger. Anyone down? Two books out. Another book out. Yep. Out on Simba. Beat it. Come on, B-21. Fire your stupid missiles. We're right over the books. Look, we're right over the books. I'm going to get... They're out! They're out! Look at that! Hypersonic missile! To space! Can't see it. Yes! Viewers, it works! AGM-183A AWARRW Hypersonic missile. Hopefully entering service right now. Look at that! Spectacular. Right. Guys, I'm going to put myself in a notch for combat later, and I'm going to go and watch these sexy, sexy missiles. Fire's got fighter locked up. Angel's 36, range 32 miles. Watch out. Look at that. Look at that. Box 3. Viewers map overview is here. Right. Uh, which one? Yeah, what one, Doc? Uh, six. Box 3, Angel's 36. You guys are both targeting the same one. Oh, 
boys are now fighting. Hoss. Oh, I won't say it because it's cheating. But a thing's happening. Simba's in hot. Come on, B21. Cannonball in hot. B21's turning out of combat. It's turning out of combat now. But it still needs Let's protection, see. guys. I see somebody's got the Angels 27 locked up. The back guy at Angels 35 is now in Wes for me. I am firing now. Fox 3. I put something in glide. And I've been foxed on. Alright, see anybody got anything out on Angels 11? I think that's the one we fired on earlier. Go kill someone. Flash. Kill more. Fox 3. Do we have anything out on Angels 24? <gasps> books in the air, books in the air. Jesus, fire. That was close. We'll see it all on Flash. the replay, viewers, so you'll see everything. <gasps> Uh oh, Moscow's firing. For a end series of missiles, viewers, their medium range missile, their long range missile. You guys keep fighting, keep communicating with each other. Two flankers down, well done. Angels 12, Angels 14, anybody got anything out on them? I've got no, but a also new wave up. coming in. New wave coming in. Fox 3. Non M96 missiles firing, closer range. Angels 25. Missiles. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Missile warning fire dads bailing out. Yep. Yeah. It's in cold. Watch your terminology. Yeah, sorry. Going cold. Missiles getting through. They have to go backwards. The, book, uh, the growlers are having to go backwards, viewers. Fox 3. Look, it's firing right there. I can't hit them. Cannonball Fox 3 on the Angel 11 guy. The more northern one. I got the one low. Five miles. Mark 6. Cannonball Fox 3. And bailing out. Going cold. Or going bailing cold. out. Going cold. Going cold. <laughs> That's my bad, I put that word in your head. <laughs> All good things are happening, guys. Just keep doing your fight. Look at that, look at the interception they're trying to do with the 9M96, which is built to do this. But these are so fast, and they're not stealthy, by the way. Right, I'm gonna look, watch for myself. Right, what's going on, guys? How's the fight going? Oh, Jesus. Oh, every time I turn in. hot, they launch a missile at me. Yep, keep fighting. You're about to get another. I just realized I'm in a world of shit. Good kill, good kill. Right, I've got to get the chuff out here, viewers. Cap. Turn and burn. Missile launch on me. What's our heading home? Uh, due break west. Due west. 270. I'm gonna save myself right now. Thanks, three. 29 on me. Leave me alone. Uh, I can't have ball. I need your assistance. I got a guy on my six. I can't. I cannot engage. I can't turn on him. Okay, where is he? He's behind me. Yeah, yeah. Shot. Fire some trouble. Cannibal, you're on him. Cannibal's on him. Cannibal's on him. Seal boots firing. Cap on your six. Yeah, I'm running. I'm running. I'm faster. It's a failed cannibal. I think. Actually, I'm not sure about that. I'm confused. Box two on him. Oh shit, leave me alone. Oh, let my people be! Ah! Yeah, 9G, 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 9G. Ah, he got me. I got him. It's elevated. Traded. Jesus fucking Christ. Cap's on the ship, but I'm gonna outrun this top head. Fuck, I've got a guy launching missiles in my face. Keep going, guys. I highly suggest you guys, uh, a spot on that is Boosh, turn west. Oh, I'm dark. No SU 35 is all that's left. Head west. Cap turning yeah. west. No sticks, heading west. Turn it dark. Oh, get off. Where is it? Hey. Put a pilot on. Oh, Chill. Did you just launch on me? Not me. Nope. Those are the 30s, I think. Jesus, all 37s coming in. Axe heads coming in. That ain't good. The MiG 21s are here. 31s. Words. Dark Buster, Buster. You got R77 1s in the air. They're 2000 knots. And they're on me as well. Dark, why are you turning south? We're getting across the border. B21 is retreating at a very Shit. modest pace. Yeah, that's B-21 for you, I'm afraid. They're idiot drivers. 
Cap evading more missiles. That's mission oh, line. He's mad at Cap. Yeah, yeah, it is. Come on, notch it, notch it, notch it, notch it, notch it. Big G. And suck my fat one. Oh. Big G, big G. Cap 235 to your southeast. Come on! Fox on you. Give me a break. Oh, that's how you beat a friggin' book. Yep, I see that. Right, I'm gonna do something very brave, viewers, and run away. Cap, jettisoning everything. Can't fight a 35. The F-35s are ignoring you. They're way above you. Works for me. Oh, really? They really are. You know that time I wish I hadn't fired my missiles? Dark, I've just fired at you by accident. Six missiles, and I'm dead. Bollocks! All right, it happens, viewers. I wasn't really in the fight. I was busy watching the knobhead uh, hypersonics. The rest of you, fight good. Dark, you're clear. Yep. Good shot, M120C. You're about to take out an SU-35. I don't know how. Some kind of way I imagine. Good shot, good shot, good shot. But you've got axe heads foaming down on you now and you can't beat those, so beat them. Damn it! Fog out. Sorry, NCIS. Yep. Sabre's down, but so's a 35. Right. Those axe heads are coming in at you at Mark 4. I suggest bust it low, put some zigzags in, get in that Patriot range, guys. This thing's seeking Simba. It's too fast, you can't dodge it. Best he's got is aerodynamically beating it. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Yes! Hit the tree right next to him. But he's got another one going. Oh, God. Patriots firing. Patriots firing. About friggin' time. Save my men. You've only got a few more miles to survive, guys. Plus one more axe head in the air. It's these that's firing them, viewers. Sorry, I've been a bit busy doing things. SU-35s are struggling because they're getting shot by Patriot. In true Russian style, they just don't care. They're carrying on. I know we've missed a lot of action viewers, but we'll see it in the replay. B-21 survived! Look at that! Big B-9, B-21. Well, that's what matters. $700 million. Yeah, your jets, not so much. That's what I'm worried about, viewers. These are nasty. Simba's shown how you can beat them at low level, but still, they catch you at anything other than 50 feet. They are murderous. Yes! SU-35s bottling it, guys. I will not make a nap. I'm heading for Krasnodar. Well, that was all very violent and very quick, viewers. A bit like Damp's lovemaking. And demonetize. And Guantanamo. <laughs> That's why NCIS. That's gone. why they're they doing it. know about Damp's lovemaking. All right. Viewers, red losses. They've lost three fla six flankers, one super flanker. They've fired a whole load of weapons, including, oh god, 51 SAMs, 31 air to air missiles. We fired 19 air to air missiles, 12 hypersonics, 18 uh, harms and decoys and four Patriots. We've lost four F-16s, one beautiful, beautiful Hornet. Uh, those hypersonics were expensive as well, they're 18 million per missile as per real life use. Oh my God, we're just about to take our Foxhound down. That is so unlucky. They found me. Right, yeah, uh, I'll get yourself in the in the trees, Simba. This thing's coming right down on you. Oh, I don't think you can do anything about it. You can't do anything about it. You can't do anything about it. Did he die? He beat it again, it hit another, hit another bloody okay. tree. Well, viewers, the people's chance we finally found, supreme. We finally found a way of beating that horrible, horrible RS-37. Oh, but they're pumping, they're beating the friggin' Patriot and pumping more missiles. Keep going, guys, keep going. Oh, 77 death one. Next to the Patriot, will that save me? <sighs> yes. <laughs> Someone's going to run out of missiles at some point, either Russia or Patriot, I don't know which. Our 77s aren't gonna make it. No, 77s are crap. You'll be good. So 37s are the problem. But hopefully they haven't got any more. You know when I said they haven't got any more? There's one down. I lied. Yeah, MiG-31 goes down for the first time and Super Flanker's about to get smacked in the bot-bot. Yeah, I said it's smacked in the bot-bot. Right, Simba is right above the Patriot, so unless he gets hit by his own missile, he should be safe. B-21 is all kinds of safe, I hope. God, it is going slow, isn't it? Well, the battle's still going on. Still an uh, advanced adder dropping out of orbit somewhere, very slowly. Simba! Well, no! I can save it. 
You can save it. That's a, that's a perfectly accessible airframe. Well done. Landed on the friggin' grass. No. Right, you should. Gonna go shoot the fans. Now the interesting thing is, he's actually still got a missile tracking him. So let's see if it tracks him on the ground. Interesting science. Always enough. Nine rations down. Another MiG-31 down. Well done, Patriot. Yeah, I said it, Patriot. But still, the Russians keep that coming. Come oh, no. on, America. Oh. Yeah, he's got it. Super flanker, friggin' in the grave. Ten rations down. Ooh wee. And more friggin'. Simba wants to be a little closer to the action viewers. Got to command the troops on the ground. Exactly right. You watch one of those missiles fuse when it comes out. It blows Simba up. Oh, look at that position I put in that Patriot on, right on the hill. Yeah, you saved that kerosene. I got a hundred pounds. Yes! Like... One Russian left. And he's got no missiles left, and he's out of fuel. Ha ha ha, we win! Good news is, we finally won this mission, guys. It took a second Oof. go, and it took some hypersonic missiles. Yeah, the B-21's got back. He's, this guy's gonna get shot down. Let's see if he gets shot down, finally. <laughs> what an obhead! Right, starting from when the missiles were fired, uh, let's concentrate on the hypersonics first of all, guys. So, whoosh, let it go. Called R3 for some reason, Mark 9, as we said. So, pretty close to reality. S400 goes nuts. Let's see why it couldn't intercept. So, S400 is very fast as well. Look, Mark 8, capable missiles. They're trying to dive down, and let's see how close they get. It's a trajectory. But that. Woof! Miss. Works for me, guys. Yep. And look, they even turn around and continue chasing because the missile's still highlighted by the radar, but no part of grace. Then these 9N96 missiles come in, which are designed to do this, and not a chance. That's it. They all get through. It's nice that we finally found a way of beating the S400, which is good without saturating it with 10,000 missiles. Right. Uh, that's all good. Now let's go and have a look at this view as the battle that happened. So let's just go back. Chugga, 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 chugga. Harms go out. Um, it's actually my one, I think. Pacifying the radar, but not the sight. Oh, what happened there? Look at that harm. That one turned around and went back home. Huh. Okay. The rest of the harms worked. Uh, the decoys. Ah, uh, yeah. They're just too slow. They're Mark, they're mark 0 0.5. Just not useful in a strike like this. You need to get out ahead, which we couldn't have done because it would be too easy. All right, next, what happens? You guys start firing. Aim on 20s. Under the massive fire of the SA-11s, which is fun. Flanker down. Fire dodges a load of SA-11s. Flanker down, well done. No idea who's firing these missiles. All of you, pretty much. Flanker did. I think I got lucky because those uh, SA-11s were actually going after the decoys. Yes, you're right. Look, the decoys did work, Pooh. They saved fire. Who survived the mission? They went for the decoys. Well done. You're welcome. That is great work, that is. Right. Another flanker down. Great firing. Oh, no, maybe not. Uh, who's that? Fire. Misses. Trey. Uh, flanker's doing great dodging now. More flanker dodging. More flanker dodging. Look at me. I'm just an autopilot heading the wrong direction. And I got shot at and dodged a missile while not even trying to dodge it on autopilot. Ladies and gentlemen, Supercat. That's why the friggin' <laughs> Sea Wizard or whoever they are want me, I think. Fire trading. Hit. And dodges. Well done. How many is Simba? Where the hell is he? There he is. It's up to the south. Uh, so he's under protecting the stealth bomber. Kill another one. I suddenly wake up and start fighting this guy. Great dispatching those flankers, guys. Not easy to do in the mountains. I get chased. Dodge that missile. In a very sexy. Dark comes in and saves me with a, a sidewinder. We're all getting fired. R-37s are raining down us at Mach 5. And advanced adders. We determine the best thing to do now is to get the chuff out of here. Advanced adders and dark. Phew, dodged. What is that shooting me? Oh, I do my friggin' creme de la creme 9G roller. Woof! Dodge all the missiles. Uh, MiG-2031 steaming in at Mach 2. All hell rains down on this at this point, and we're starting to get picked off now, obviously. I get killed by Adda. Poosh gets killed by uh, Axe Head. And you saw the rest from there. Simba and uh, Fire survive. Simba does some cheeky dodging of an Axe Head. And again, Patriot shoots all the Russian jets down. Well done, guys. We finally did that mission. Ooh, that feels good. Oh, great stuff. I hope you enjoyed that. And bye-bye. <laughs>